What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we got for you some velocity based training exercises that we like to use for our soccer players. So it's very important that as we're building strength, uh, we're also training the ability to express this strength quickly, right? Express this force fast. In sports like soccer, basketball, baseball, volleyball, all these sports, right? We don't need that slow strength. We need to be able to produce a lot of force really fast to explode out, to sprint, to jump, whatever it may be. So a great way to do this is velocity-based training, right? You can use some different devices to measure, or you can just go with the intent of moving load fast, moving yourself fast. So today we're giving you four exercises we love to use and other exercise pairings that we use with them. So a little bit of a, a contrast type of style going on here. So hopefully you enjoy this. If you do, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. We post new videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays. So make sure to subscribe to catch all of them. Hope you enjoy. First exercise, we are using the trap bar. One of my favorite ways to train velocity. The entire intent with velocity, like I said at the start, it's move and load fast. Right, so you don't wanna to go too heavy to where you slow down. You want it to be really, really fast. So make sure you're not sacrificing your speed for load, right? That becomes more impulse uh, when we're trying to move high load fast. So there's a couple of things we can do. We can just do a trap bar speed pull, that's what we call it, where we pull it one time as fast as you possibly can. Um, so we'll be here, we'll be set up have tension on the bar already in the bottom, right? Don't start off all loosey-goosey. Tension from the bottom, you're just gonna shoot up like you're shooting out of a cannon, right here. Boom, as fast as you can, okay? So we're gonna hit that. Another one that we also will do will be a couple repetitions, right? So there we just had the one pull as fast as we can. But let's say we hit like three of them. You still wanna keep that velocity high. Now we're gonna be having that eccentric, so that loading phase. So that can help as well. Just make sure you're not tapping and bouncing the, the plates off to where it's like cheating a little bit, right? Keep the form strict and good. Intent to move it fast. So I'm here. Right, as fast as you can, the repetition. Something I like partnering um, with the trap bar is gonna be like a depth jump, for example. So we'll head over here to the boxes. Um, we're gonna drop off jump up there's a couple ways we can hit our depth drops or our depth jumps right you've heard me talk about this before we can go for ground contact time where we just try to pop as fast as we can we can also go for a jump height right where our ground contact time is going to be a little bit slower when it comes to partnering with the trap bar depending on the type of time where we're training i'll just have the athlete just drop and jump Sometimes I don't wanna complicate it too much. I just want them to jump high, jump fast, right? So I'm just gonna go on to this 18. So I'm here, boom, right? I don't wanna get stuck. I'm not going the highest in the world. I am not going the fastest in the world, but I just wanna drop. I want a little bit of both, right? So you can push the height a little bit as long as you're not on the ground for too long because you don't want to get stuck down here and then jump. Number two, we're going hang cleans. Love hand clean G's and we talk about these ones as well a lot. Um, so I like this for velocity training. Once again, just like with the trap bar, we're not gonna sacrifice uh, speed to add load. So find something that you can go fast with, um, but also it's not too ridiculously light. We wanna find that happy place where we're still getting the good velocity numbers, right? But we're able to pull a little bit. I should take my mic off so I don't make this mistake that I've almost broken it a hundred times. So one of the reasons I absolutely love these, it works on that rapid hip extension. So as you can see in the clips, right, the good load and then the rapid hip extension out, a lot of what we do as athletes, especially soccer, it involves that hip extension. If I'm going to jump, right, boom, I load it. If I'm going to sprint, hip extension. No matter what, even if I'm changing directions, right, if I'm here going this way, right, as I'm coming here, my hips are, boom, extending as I'm exploding out. So I love training a fast hip extension. If you don't do hand cleans, we can also do a bunch of other things, right? We can do like shrugs to train that. Even if we just hit kettlebell swings, something like that where the, we're moving fast, training that hip extension. So partnering with it, 
right? We're going to hit a broad box jump. So we're partnering with that hip extension. Pretty much we're doing a box jump from far out. So it's a mixture between a broad jump and a box jump. So we're going to start far away. I got to jump. I got to land here. So I got to make sure that I'm able to get up on top, float, not catch my foot, right? So really get that broad. We just want to float on top, right? We don't want to scooch along the ground. So we're going to be here. We're going to load it. <laughs> going to pop up, right? We'll hit that maybe twice, one or two times, depending on. Remember, the goal is to be fast, so we don't need a lot of repetitions. Um, if anything, let's bump the sets, drop the reps, so every single time we can just be moving real fast. Number three, absolutely love doing landmine split jerks. We have had these in our programs for years. Once again, similar to the hand cleans, we get that hip extension, that lower body power, all the way up to the upper body. So we're gonna start here. I like to start up on my toes a little bit. Dip, drive, boom, punch it. Gotta be really strong at the top. Dip, drive, right here. This one, I really like. It's easy for people to understand it as well and to get going. The learning curve's not, not crazy on this. Another one that I like to do is gonna be a landmine pull push, right? So it's important to have, um, to train through rotation especially in soccer, right? We're rotating a lot, we're turning a lot, we're going from one direction to the next at really high speeds. So this is gonna be a landmine pull push, okay, pull press. We're gonna be here. I like to start up kind of wide, okay? I'm gonna dip down from here, I'm gonna pull, turn, and press. Here, boom, right like that. Okay, we'll go again, here, boom, right there. You gotta be really strong in this one, to be honest, I usually go lighter than that um, when I go so I can keep the speed also so I can make sure I have a good rotation, make it powerful. Um, so those two are really good options to throw into your programs. With them, I like something, for example, like a single leg box jump. So when it comes to a single leg box jump, anytime we're doing single leg jumping, it's more reactive by nature, right? Compared to like a double leg. If I'm doing double leg, I'm here. I'm loading it, I'm jumping. When I go single leg, it's pretty much like I'm here, boom, and I pop off, right? So we go a lot more with reactive stuff with that, uh, obviously with both, but we're gonna hit a single leg box jump with this one, with the split jerk, right? Because in my split jerk, I'm here and boom, I'm popping. So it kind of is that decel to a pop type of thingy thing. So we're gonna be over here. I'm only gonna go on to the 18 because your girl's lazy and doesn't wanna set up more boxes. I'm gonna be right here, okay? I'm gonna run as big as I can, boom. I'm gonna pop and I'm just gonna float on top just like that. Do we wanna see if, if Madison can do a 42 and not hurt herself? We'll try 42. Now my ego's talking. I hope I don't fall. Okay, good run, pop, jump, land two. I'm gonna pull something. Boom, baby. But yeah, I like doing something like that where it is more reactive <sighs> by nature. Um, so you don't have to do a box. You can do just like even a regular single leg approach, but I like that pairing. Number four, I like doing a rear foot elevated split squat of some sort. So, whoa, we'll be here, one foot on, whether we go dumbbell, uh, we can also go trap bar. We're on open trap bar. We can go barbell, something like that. We're working that unilateral. Uh, like a Bulgarian split squat if you don't have a roller, even like a goblet step down on a step, right? Just working that unilateral. That was my demo right there. That little half knee bend um, of a goblet step down. But we're sticking with the rear foot today. So I like doing that. Unilateral training is very important for athletes. So this one, the rules kind of flipped with our velocity training with one through three, Right, that first one, we're pulling real fast, real hard. With this one, it's, most, it's more like that typical contrast um, style where we're going heavy to start. So we're gonna go heavy, heavier to start, right? So we're gonna go here, our regular rear foot. The velocity comes in for more of that overspeed as the you know, B portion, or like if we're going A1, A2 portion. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one foot on the roller. With that, we're gonna hold on to the sides of the cage, whatever you're doing it with, safety bars, cage, doesn't matter. The goal 
is to be moving faster than you would move with your legs alone. So what, am I, what I mean by that is we're gonna be ripping out our rear foot elevated split squats, no load. Sometimes I will put bands on, but if we're going for full velocity, we're gonna go no load. Okay, so I'm gonna be here my arms my hands are going to actively help pull me down and push me up so they're improving the rate at which i can perform my split squat okay so i'm right here as fast as i can right i'm not going all the way up all the way down but i'm actively using my hands getting my thumbs in these little squares right as fast as i can ripping down, ripping up. It's faster than I could do it on my own without utilizing my hands or something else helping me. So it's that type of overspeed. Get your body training at that high speed. Everything's gonna fire up. It's gonna start working as if you were moving at that speed, improve the capability and the potential to work there. So that's one of my favorites, busting those out. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you do, please give a thumbs up, please subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.